All right, so Superior Spider-Man number one came out today. Literally one of the only comics that came out today. There's literally like 10 comic store, like 10 comics at my store. That's it. It was uh, interesting. I don't think I've ever doing this now weekly for over a year now. And this is the first time I've ever seen like 10 books in a store. I think it's because after Christmas. I also know that stores got two weeks worth of books last week. So it's a weird, this is like a weird off week. I'm guessing next week there'll be a load of books. But in any case, it is what it is. There's four books that I bought. This is one of them. And this is one I've been anticipating since they announced it. So Superior Spider-Man number one is out. I was a big fan of the Superior Spider-Man run when it came out. I think it's Dan Slott's best work because... He literally got to write the version that he's always wanted to. I don't know. But the concept is that Otto Octavius beat Peter Parker, basically. And he beat him. He transferred his mind into Peter Parker. And Peter Parker died, kind of. Um, I have a theory that the real Peter Parker is dead from that situation. I should probably, I, I might do a video on that. But in, in any case, um, he becomes Spider-Man, kind of inherits his uh, sense of responsibility. And he tries to be a hero by being a villain, like as saying that he uses supervillain methods to become a hero. It was really interesting. The whole dynamic was a very interesting concept of the hero, of the villain winning and trying to be a good guy, but at the same time, like, using villainry to become a hero. It was, uh, I liked it quite a bit. However, half of the stuff that made that book interesting was Otto Octavius trying to be Peter Parker. So my concern with this book was that he, you're taking half the dynamic of the character away. And that's the potential problem to this book. However, this issue, while not perfect, did a good job of kind of alleviating my fears. So it starts off with him fighting him fighting the stilt man. A <laughs> really dumb villain. But basically, in a nutshell, Otto Octavius found a loophole and came back to life after his death and made a uh, hybrid body of his old body and Peter Parker's body. And he's done this so that now he can, you know, live on. He's in San Francisco, and he's the superior Spider-Man again. This all happened during uh, the uh, Spider-Geddon event that was pretty boring. However, some of my fears for this book are, are taken back, for one, because this book has something that's needed, a supporting cast. Now, a lot of the times... When they do these books, like they did, what, uh, Kane's book, they did two versions of the Scarlet Spider. They did one with Kane, and they did one with Ben. Ben, what a travesty that book was. They uh, really messed that book up, man. The way they... I, I, I could get into that, too. But anyway, uh, you have... I forget his name. I think... It, I forget his name. He, he was... Uh, it starts with an M. But anyway, it doesn't matter. He was in Spider-Man for a long time. Then, of course, we got Anna Maria. She was his love interest in Superior Spider-Man. She's going to be in the book. He's going to be in the book. That gives him... Oh, yeah, it's Max. Sorry. So, he has a supporting cast, right? Two established characters that we know. That's really important for a book that the Scarlet Spider books lacked. So, like, having an interesting personal life, like, Peter Parker is interesting, gets into things just like Spider-Man does. Like, you need that. So, that's really good, and I think that that's something that can help this book out, actually. Him doing his double life. So, he's, like, a professor at Horizon University, dealing with Anna, who finds out who, she, who he is in this book, and with uh, Max here. So, that's nice. That's good to have. Also, he has, uh, so in the Superior Octopus Zero book, 
that came out before Spider Geddon. Uh, he uh, it was shown that he employed these villains, right? It looks like they're going to be in the story too. So he's like pretty much paying them to do good work, which is a villainy thing to do. Like I like that that he's going to use like villain tactics, and that's showing here. So all in all, like I give the book a three. Because it was middle of the road, you know, it, it was good, but this whole book is setting up. But one thing that this book, one thing that hurts this book is the fact that you have to know a lot of stuff to really sit down. Now, they, they do give you, um, like, a, so they give you a two-page story where they write in, like, the whole origin of Superior Spider-Man and they tell you about Doc Ock and they give him a tragic past with his abusive dad and his mom problems. And they go over a quick, <laughs> quick spark notes of what happened in Superior Spider-Man, the original run. And then it goes into everything. But you get the gist here, but they, the clone conspiracy stuff, Spider-Geddon, and in some ways, Spider-Verse, the original Superior Spider-Man run, and even some of the Amazing Spider-Man run, if you want to know who Max and Anna, uh, not Anna Maria, but Max and Horizon are. So there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of lore you need to know, <laughs> which I get uh, a lot of shit for sometimes about how I don't like deep lore. And it's not that I don't like deep lore, it's just that I don't like when books aren't accessible for people. And I feel like you need to have a deep understanding of all this stuff to really get this issue. Cause you know, I, I wonder how this book would have came off to someone who's never read any of this stuff. And you know, I think that that's stuff that really hurts the comic industry is how um, unaccessible it is. But we get to some stuff with uh, Otto who calls himself Thomas Elliot and that he argues with Anna Maria and stuff. And she was gonna turn him into the police, but it turns out like, the university is getting uh, attacked by an old Fantastic Four villain who is, uh, what's his name, uh, Terex the Tamer. He, uh, I don't think he's been around for a long time, but he's an old Fantastic Four villain. That stuff with Gal Galactus. And he's going to fight in the next issue. We get some pretty cool cover art here. So we'll, we'll see where it goes. I'm excited for it. Chris, uh, what's his name, Nicholas Chris, Christoph Gage, I think is his name. He's writing it. He's done a really good job with the character, as he did a lot of collaboration with Dan Slott when Dan was writing the book. So we'll see where it goes. I'm excited for it. I really like this character. I know a lot of people are sick of so many spider characters, but for me, like this one, I'm really excited about. Because Superior Spider-Man, for a time, like I was out of comics for a long time, and... The Superior Spider-Man run actually got me back into comics. Like, I was going in there to read that book. I was really excited to find out what happened. I started reading other books, right? And it got me back into the books for a while. And, you know, so that's why that's why I really like the character. Because I wasn't reading comics for like a couple of years. Because I was in college and, you know, uh, it's expensive. But I was really interested in this idea of this character. Like, you have Peter Parker dying and he's going to take over. That's, I was interested. I was intrigued. I want to know what's happening. And I started reading. I started uh, when that whole arc where he was going to die. And then, you know, I jumped on to Superior Spider-Man. And I started reading other books that were coming out at the time. And it got me back into comics. So the character is pretty special to me for those reasons. Because it got me back into the hobby. And I just think it's a really cool concept. So I'm hoping this book does good. I'm hoping that they can make this into something special, not make it a mess. The good thing about books like this is they're usually self-contained. You can probably just read this book and not need to pick up any other spider books, which I also like. So yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see. Hopefully it's a good series. I have high hopes because I really like this character. So anyway, check out the links in the description. Got a link to my stream me and my Patreon. Also, uh, hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this book. Let me know what you think about uh, Superior Spider-Man. Like and subscribe. All that good stuff. And I'll have some more videos up later. Make sure you go to my, my bigger channel. I'll have reviews up over there too. Peace.